Today we're heading down to the 30th National Reptile Breeders Expo, which happens to be the largest reptile meeting in the world, right here in my home, Daytona Beach. This is the first expo that me and the family have been to. It definitely won't be the last. We saw a lot of awesome creatures, picked up some goodies, and got to meet some awesome breeders. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for this channel's first feeding video, and also to get a look at the new additions to the collection. <laughs> So here's a look at some of the stuff we picked up at the expo and some of the freebies they were handing out, like these reptile munchies from Zillow, which Diego absolutely loves. I'll definitely need to find a bigger supply of these. Also, these are pretty cool and something I've never seen before, these eco-fresh insects. I haven't tried these out yet. When I do, I might do a review on them, see if it's something I'd be interested in purchasing again in the future. Also, they were handing out these juvenile dragon foods with vitamins and minerals in them. I was running low on Eco Earth, so I snagged a brick. Also, we got this light timer by Zillow for Diego's lighting. Now, that'll turn the lighting on and off automatically, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. You can never have too much cork bark, so whenever I see a good deal on cork bark, I always grab some. Now for the more interesting items. You guys know we had to snag some new tarantulas from this expo, so let's introduce the new additions. First up, we have the Afona Pelma Samani, the Costa Rican Zebra. Now when I saw this at the expo, you already know it was an absolute must have. It had just freshly molted and was looking incredible. Next up is a tarantula that I've wanted to have ever since I got into this hobby and that is the Arizona Blonde. I love the colorations of this tarantula and I'm so happy to finally have one of my own. 
Now next up is the T. Vilacaeus. This one the wife actually picked up. They're known for their dark purple colorations, so we really can't wait to see this one put on some size. Now this next species was number one on my list for this expo, and I was so pumped when I actually found it. And that is the GBB, the Green Bottle Blue. Now this is a teeny tiny little sling, but that's okay because I love watching my tarantulas grow into their colors. We also picked up another curly hair to add to our collection. This was a freebie given to us by one of the breeders, but nonetheless, we're super pumped to have it in our collection. So we've saved the best for last. Now this was an unexpected find, but when me and the wife came across it, we agreed that it had to come home with us and be a part of our collection, and that is the Pocatheria regalis. Now this is an absolutely beautiful species. I absolutely love the yellow and white colorations and we are so happy to have it a part of our collection. So that's the end of our new collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, go ahead and drop a like. Now what that's going to do is that's going to help future hobbyists like yourself find these videos, and it's going to help encourage me to keep making content. Now show some support by subscribing to this channel, and just remember, I upload every Monday, and I'll see you guys next time.